Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and I am currently a nursing student. I am three weeks away now from my second semester of nursing school and I'm excited, scared, like a little bit of everything. So anyways, for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some of my study tricks and tips and how I study in nursing school. I personally am a visual and auditory learner, so I learn best by reading, looking at visuals, and listening to lectures, videos, other things like that. So if you're a kinesthetic learner, which means you learn best by touching things and you know all that, this may not be helpful to you, but regardless, this is how I study in nursing school. And last semester, I ended with an 89.9 percent in my fundamentals of nursing class so I was one point off towards the end of the semester I will admit I got really lazy and didn't study to the extent I probably should have so you know if you're looking for that ballpark range of a high B possible A this is what I did to study in nursing school so Stay tuned if you would like to know more about that. And if you're not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned to all of my nursing school videos and journey. Let's get to the video. So <laughs> I'm gonna start from the very beginning as to what I do in lecture all the way into exam prep and how I study for my exams. First things first, when I'm in lecture, I need to have all of the slides and PowerPoints printed. So I typically will print my slides and put them in a binder. For example, here are my slides. I like to print six per page, double-sided, just because to me it kind of reads like a book and it's very easy. It's easier for me than like one slide a page or two slides a page or whatever else. Prior to class, I print out the slides and put them in my binder. So then that way, during lecture and when the professor is going through that lecture for the day, I'm able to have the slides right in front of me, highlight, asterisk, write any notes that I need to during the actual lecture. So as you can see, like, I don't know if you can see, but I include my own notes underneath any PowerPoints that I find interesting or things that I need to add on to. I'll show you a little example. So under each slide, I will include my own notes. Here are some more examples of me taking notes on my slides. So yeah, for me, it's really important to take notes directly onto the slides just because sometimes the lecturer will say something that isn't on the PowerPoints and it may be important information. And also, even though the information may be there, writing something in my own words definitely helps me memorize things better and just stick into my brain a lot better. Previously in the past, I had audio recorded my lectures and listened to them when I was in the gym or you know, in the car or whatever. But for whatever reason, this past semester of nursing school, that didn't seem to help very much. I did it maybe the first two weeks of school and I just, it wasn't, I wasn't retaining the information as well as just printing out the slides and taking my own notes. So if you learn a little bit better by that, totally recommend it. But for me, when I'm in lecture, all I do is have my binder and my pen and just I write out everything, double write out things that are already on the slides and just I need to memorize or make note of. So that is what I do during lecture. I also will typically have my laptop out and if there's like a phrase or term or something that I don't understand, I can pull up the textbook on my laptop real quick and just go over whatever it is I don't really understand. And I also will just look up little things here and there that our lecturer will go over and that I think that I may need to know. So now on to what I do to study for exams. So like I said, that is during lecture. 
I will just take notes on my slides, have all my slides printed out. And after the lecture, if there's like a concept or something that I don't understand still, I'll go home and grab my textbook and just thoroughly dig into whatever I didn't understand. I'm trying to think of a good example. I don't know whether it be like a medication or just something that I didn't quite understand or grasp the whole concept. Concept. I will go into my textbook and not necessarily read the whole chapter, but just read over what I don't get. Another kind of story time is when I first started nursing school, I literally read everything. Like on our recommended reading schedule, I read every single chapter, every single page, every single footnote, everything, like all of it. But that took so much time, like it literally, there's not enough time in the world to read six chapters or whatever. So my recommendation to you guys, whether you're in nursing school or going to start nursing school, is go to the lecture with you know some type of knowledge, skim your chapter, skim whatever is the recommended reading and go to lecture, learn what you learn in lecture, and then go back to that chapter. Don't spend five, six, seven hours reading all of those chapters because I'll tell you probably a portion of that is gonna be on your lecture and you're only gonna learn a portion of whatever you read. Like it's not gonna stick in your brain as well as you may think. My mom is creeping on me in the corner. Okay. She's a weirdo. So yes, that's definitely a recommendation of mine is do not go into nursing school thinking you're gonna read everything because you are not gonna have enough time to do any of that. So just focus on what's important, focus on the lectures and just don't kill yourself with reading a million chapters. That is my advice to you. So now I'm gonna walk you guys through what I do to study for my exam. So like I said, during lecture, I really focus on the PowerPoint slides and just taking my own notes. Then after that lecture, I'll go home or you know sit at Starbucks, whatever, and I will type up everything that I think we will need to know for the, the exam. So my school, they provide us with something called SLOs or student learning outcomes and basically that is what our nursing school tries to get us to learn or accomplish and wants us to really take away from either that lecture and just know by the end of nursing school. We have a whole list of SLOs of you know what we are expected to learn from that lecture and by the end of the semester. What I do is I use these student learning outcomes as kind of my guide to make my study guides. And the reason is because most of these SLOs show up on our exam. So what I'm gonna do is I'll show you guys an example of my study guide and I really just focus on those SLOs, take what I can from our lecture, take what I can from our textbooks, and take what I can from our clinical experience and just add it into a study guide using the SLOs as my kind of template and skeleton and just add all of the muscles. And, okay, no anatomy example, but anyways. So I will just take my SLOs and use it as a baseline and kind of add in everything else according and around that. So I type up all of my SLOs if you know you're the type of person that learns better writing great but i just ain't nobody got time for writing out all of everything so i like to type everything out and then i will tell you what i do after that but let me show you an example of what the slos look like and my study exam guide looks like so here is kind of what my study guide looks like i will have the lecture title of what the lecture is about, including all of the chapters that were included in that lecture. And then I will have the SLOs written out with my description and things that I've learned, like I said, from lecture or from my textbook or whatever else that um, relates to that SLO, student learning outcome. And my SLOs are typically really, really, really long just because I like to be really thorough. And during when I'm studying for my exam, this is literally all I go off of, is just the SLOs. So you can kind of see 
it's really thorough and in-depth and like I said I go based off of those learning outcomes and just focus on those so here's an example and I include pictures things that I may show up on the exam or just things that kind of help me understand the concepts a little bit better okay so those are my study guides and that is typically all I use to study my exams I'll go to lecture take notes do that all of that and then go home make a study guide based off of my student learning outcomes provided by my school and then a week prior to my exam I will print out all of my my SLOs my exam study guide which I just showed you guys and I will solely study off of that so I make my study guides extremely thorough like literally they can be like 20 pages long because that is all I study off of and I feel like for me when things are all together in one spot and easily accessible versus you know going on my slides then going to my textbook and then going just all over the place having something in one single spot that you can just reference to and bring with you to you know out to eat or coffee or whatever it just makes it so much easier and like I said like typically I like to be really really thorough and make sure that anything that can be covered in our exams are on that study guide I typically will write up on my study guide too I wish I had an example I can't really have like a shorter study guide but um so I will like to this is this was from an ATI type of thing. We had an ATI exam. This wasn't like an official exam, um, but this is a study guide. And like, I will highlight things that I think are just really important and make notes. But like, I don't know what I, I think I may have threw out all my study guides, but typically it will be like completely covered, highlighted, you know, notes everywhere, things that are added on. But I try not to go back from that study guide. I just try to focus on that study off of that so like I said I'm not all over the place so that is basically all of my techniques and study routine as of right now next semester I start med surge and labor and delivery so I I don't know if my study techniques will work or if they'll change but that is basically it it's pretty simple you know just using my powerpoints writing notes on that then going and making a study guide and then using that study guide to study for my exams and that is all I do leave me a comment below on how you study or what works for you if you have any recommendations for me and I will keep you guys updated if you know this happens to work again next semester fingers crossed I hope so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day make sure to like this video give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button leave me comments and I will see you guys in the next video Bye, guys.